what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if it is your first time oh yeah i'm in vancouver city center downtown near uh, stanley park and uh i'm doing one of my first series of these uh, massless audits so basically to give you a run around a run around uh, a background right uh, the background is oh you have an exam the doctor because i was struggling with breathing and people can say whatever they want about it that oh, i'm just doing it for whatever a reason for a reason uh, but i genuinely found it hard to breathe and i had asthma as a kid it was irritating i was getting cuts you know that there's like some little metal bit on those things was cutting my thing this that the other anyway if it, ben it benefits me and my i'm careful enough not to be fucking touching anyone i don't know and fucking staying clean and fucking keeping to myself like i'm not fucking it's not like i'm going out partying or doing any of that i don't do any of that a few joints that's it so yeah so i got the i, I have an exemption the doc i seen a doctor the doctor concluded that it was within my best interest to get this exemption otherwise because it was like not only your uh, like your physical health but your mental health as well if that's like anno annoying you and it's irritating me and it's just it's shit all around like i'd rather as soon as i uh, got the exemption and i took it off honestly i, I was afraid i felt like i was a free man i felt just mad freedom or something it's fucking lethal like and uh and i still feel like that now it's like uh, now it's fucking people say oh the mass is like to protect the other person from in case of your germs and stuff like this but look i'm fucking i'm not stupid i'm not i'm not gonna cough, cough on someone's face i'm not gonna sneeze on someone's face i'm not gonna do any of that shit obviously not no way why would i do that and i know i'm healthy as well so looking like don't you don't go to a fucking a car re repair shop a car repair shop if your car is not broken you know what i mean so what's the gig i'm fucking fresh the only people that look stupid in my opinion and i'm not trying to be uh i'm not trying to fucking play a damn player on this whole situation or i know there's a virus going on or but um yeah i can't even remember what i was saying there but uh did I just say that? I felt like I was about to say some mad lethal sentence. Um, yeah, fuck it. Anyway, so Subway, I'm going into Subway now. And uh, Norm, I, I went in before, and because what happened a few times in the past was I'd go to uh, I'd go to a, a shop or a thing, and I'd genuinely forget my mask. That was another thing. I just forget it. And then I realise a few minutes after I'm walking down or something like that, I'm like, fuck's sake. So sometimes I do this, I put my thing over. Or sometimes I just see what the reaction kind of is, like, see the people actually care. Like, and I I, uh, I went into Subway once or twice and they, they snapped. They were just like, I was like, oh, what, I forgot. Oh, sorry, I forgot. They're like, oh, no, we can't, it's not here. I'm fucking starving, like, can I get a Subway? And uh, they just, they said, no, you have to get out and this, that, the other. So anyway, enough of me shining on. I'm, uh, I'm heading into, uh, I'm heading into Subway now. So I'll, uh, I'll chat to you in a bit. I'm nice, that. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, could I get a foot long Italian BMT, please? Uh, Italian hairs and cheese. Thanks. And uh, white cheese toasted. White cheese toasted, thanks. Happy days, guys. <laughs> face mask mandatory, I didn't see that. Is a uh, face mask mandatory? Oh, yes, sorry. You need to wear a mask. Do you have one? I have a, I have a mask exemption. Sorry? I have an exemption. Exemption? Yeah, yeah. Can you show me your exemption? Yeah, do I have to tell you why? You have to show me the exemption. Just the exemption? Yeah, you yeah. Have one? I have one there. One sec. One sec. 
I have an exemption now, it's uh, yeah, BC, the, the BC rules, the BC law states that if I have an exemption that there's no, you, there's no liability on you. But I just don't want them to come in. But it's not, it's not against the law. I have a, I can't be discriminated against for not being able to wear a mask. Do you, don't, you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm not trying to be real. My first proper mask is all and uh, get a bit of reaction. Yeah. What? What do you mean? I'm just walking around. You're shot. Yeah. Why? How? How would they? But I have an egg. Do you understand what an exemption is? It means for health purposes, I can't wear a mask. But I don't want them to come in, period. But I don't understand. Are you telling me I can't just walk around the shop? Why? I'm not. I'm not doing anything. I'm just a customer in your shop. What's going on with you? What? Why? How? I, you're discriminating against me for not wearing a mask. Why are you giving me a hard time? I just want my sandwich. That's it. Fair enough. Great service from Subway. Yes. Can I get it in for an extra 15 seconds, please? Can I get it in for an extra? Am I okay to move an inch? Am I okay to move over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that okay? Yeah. Anything else for you? Uh, thanks. Uh, I'll get a tomato, please. A tomato, lettuce, red onion, and uh, a small bit of green pepper, please. Here, can we start over, man? I didn't mean to offend you. No, I if you thought that. No, I just don't want anyone to come in and give me problems. Here, that's all. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to spread awareness on uh, no, yeah. it's not a crime to not wear a mask. If you have an example, that's totally fine. Exactly. Um, yeah. But I think everybody should be treated the exact same. Do you get me? Because I don't think you would have said that to somebody who wasn't wearing a mask. That's what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. bit, it's discrimination. No, no, no. You're totally welcome to be in here. You're totally welcome. Could I get? To be here, it's okay. It's okay. I don't. I won't argue with it. Uh, could I set where sauce, please? Sorry, bro. I wasn't trying to antagonise you there. I'm just trying to. Uh, just trying to. Show my points. That's it. Thanks. Yeah, no, it's okay. Thanks, bro. Go on. Good luck. Have a good day. <laughs> right, guys. That was my uh, my first massless audit. I'd say, look, I've been. I've been to a couple of different shops just through, you know, having to go to shops normally, like every day or whatever, you know what I mean? Just getting your normal bits and uh, I did that. I was doing that over since I got the uh, my exemption, just to see. And to be honest, everywhere, I, I thought it was a bit ironic because uh, what you call, as soon as I got the exemption, nobody was asking me for, my ma for a mask or to wear a mask or any of that shit. So, uh, it was just, uh, I was like, wait, what the fuck's going on now? Everyone's being, nobody. To be honest, I think the the public don't give a shit about it. The public don't, uh, well, I know some, some public obviously are paranoid and scared and stuff like that. 
I think the general public now, this is all just yeah. all that fella that was uh, working in the shop. He was hostile towards me. Like it wasn't the other way around. Like I wasn't trying to, uh, I wasn't trying to antagonize him there or anything. I was just saying I shouldn't be. He was. He didn't want me to move around the shop because, and the reason why is because he had. He was scared of. Uh, he was scared of what was going to happen if. Uh, if someone like an officer that was uh, saying these bylaws and all this bull bullshit like he like they're, they're just walk. making that shit in a certain part of the shop just because of coronavirus or something like that when I have an exemption this is the thing about it if you read it on the DC's website um, like the citizens citizens information about what uh, about the coronavirus and uh, what the restrictions are and whether you have to um, and at what times you have to uh, what times you have to oh, that happens to me all the time I think I honestly think I do have a slight bit of dementia or something at this early age all your all my mates will tell you there'll be times where I'm just like I'll be straight up speaking a full conversation and I'll, I'll just go wait what did I say there? But then you just re-jog the memory and I'll get it back, I'll get it back. So we good, baby, we when good. you're wearing the mask and when it's okay to not. And there'll be fines if you're, if you're uh, not wearing it in uh, a place you should. But they also say unless you have an exemption, like due to a medical condition. And once you have one of that, then you can't be discriminated against. You have to be treated the exact same. And that's what I'm out here trying to do. Just, just you know, see what, how will people especially workers uh, working in their official capacity how they're gonna react to it and whether they use their personal views on it uh, to mix in with what the law is like feelings at the end of the day guys feelings don't trump the law and that's just it that's the fact of it so like I can't say to you I can't go to you I don't like your shoes get the fuck out I can't say that to you just like you can't say to me, oh, you're a murderer because you're not wearing a mask. It's just, it doesn't make sense. You know, it's just, uh, it's crazy these days. And uh, and you can't, uh, like who, I mean, I'm looking around here and there's, everyone I can see has this big black diaper muzzle on their face, right? Just call it whatever you want, that's what it is. And look at me. No mask on. Fucking first day uh, maskless audit done. And uh, I'm gonna do well more of these clearly because uh, you get <laughs> you get some sort of reaction. The reason I started I was doing it in the first place was because uh, I was looking at all those police audits and stuff they, they do in the UK and the US and uh, I just thought they were fucking <laughs> gas. But those people that do that, and there is some people that are out solely looking for a reaction. But most of them, the real good ones, are doing it for educational purposes and trying to uh, just make everyone better, have a better understanding with police rather than having a big divide and stuff like this. And I'm gonna try to do that. <coughs> oh well, I really I did one of them before. I did a I did one over here in Vancouver, and to be honest, it was just fucking shy. Because at the end of the day, when, when I was doing that, I actually was looking for a reaction because I was just, I was enjoying all these YouTube videos. I, I still watch them all the time. And uh, and I was doing it for a reaction that time. So that was just stupid. And uh, and to be honest, at the end of, in, in Canada, there's now like the police are, the police, it's not like police back in, in the US or anything, there's sound over here. So but that, because, uh, because I've been talking about the coronavirus and the COVID and uh, just I, I have a lot of time behind so I just uh, I look into it a lot and uh, I, look, I, I dig a little bit deeper so you don't have to just put it that way like you don't if, you, if you're not comfortable posting anything like that because uh, you're afraid that there'll be people <coughs> people will fucking slay you for it or whatever then that's that's cool I don't give a shit about that because the end of the day i'm i'm a freedom fighter this is what i've been telling everyone i'm a freedom fighter and i'm while all this is going on you know 
we need to be making changes and make uh make a difference basically honestly like because uh, if not the world is gonna be fucked in a few years so basically uh i'll leave it like that guys uh like share comment with all that subscribe all that shit um and i'll see you at the next one peace